From subs to paninis, open face to pita, BLTs to po'boys, the sandwich is a universal, on-the-go, easy, and sometimes gourmet meal. But who invented such a simplistic idea that we would enjoy every single day? This is the history of the sandwich. The sandwich has taken on many forms over the last 250 years, but the very first acknowledged sandwich was ordered by John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. You may recognize the name Earl of Sandwich from the food chain which purveys the meal that Montague himself would have ordered. But the noble title originates from the Southeast England region of Sandwich, Kent. As it turns out, we can thank gambling for what we enjoy here in America over 300 million times a day. One fateful night in 1762, during one of Montague's binge gambling sessions, he was on a lucky streak and instructed the cook to prepare his food so it would not interfere with his game. The cook took sliced meat and stuck it between two pieces of toast, which allowed Montague to continue playing his game and use only one hand to eat. We don't know if Montague cashed out that night, but we're all winners from that gambling session. With such a simple concept, it seems almost too far-fetched to be a real story. In fact, we could go back even further to the Mediterranean where locals would often place meat in pita bread. Montague just so happened to witness this during his time spent in Greece, and perhaps it was this memory that called to him. Hmm. Nevertheless, it was Montague that received the glory for popularizing the sandwich in England. The idea has since evolved into hundreds of variations. In fact, some may argue that it's difficult to even define what a sandwich truly is. Take, for example, in New York, where burritos are taxed as sandwiches. In a lawsuit between Panera and Cadoba in 2006, it was ruled that a burrito is in fact not a sandwich. The court ruled that the difference between the two is that one has a tortilla and the other has two slices of bread. Today, however, sandwiches are ubiquitous to the American culture. In 2015, the sandwich industry was a $22 billion food empire, employing over half a million people. The largest sandwich maker, Subway Subs, has over 44,000 restaurants worldwide. All these sandwiches thanks to a man who simply wanted to eat with one hand and gamble with the other. It's the go-to meal, the party pleaser, the delivery on demand, endless topping masterpiece. Some call it Italian cheese toast. Others eat it cold the next morning. No matter what you name it or how you consume it, pizza is an all around food classic. But where did it come from? Who invented the pie with sauce and cheese that we all have come to adore? This is the history of pizza.